These flyovers were built during the last 18 months of President Corazon Aquino's term, when the Department of Public Works and Highways was headed by Secretary Jose Ping de Jesus. In spite of the short span of time within which these road projects, plus several others in Mindanao and northern Luzon were completed, quality was never compromised. How did a newly installed non-engineer head of the Public Works Department do that? Now, when I joined the department, I uh, gathered my uh, key people, the undersecretaries, the uh, regional directors, and I said, uh, you know, our department is very notorious. Uh, it has a very bad public image as one of the most, if not the most corrupt department in the government. From now on, I said, we start anew. I will now assume that all of you are honest until proven otherwise. If anybody uh, commits any uh, anomalies, I can assure you I will go after him. But in the meantime, we will just, uh, let's trust one another, you know. The people in the department responded. And we, we, we were like in a 100-meter uh, dash. Everything was being fast-tracked. Fortunately, we had good contractors like FF Cruz and DM Konsun He and, 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 and others. Uh, who implemented these projects, and we provided incentives for early completion. And then uh, on top of that, uh, we of course made sure we, our presence was always felt uh, during the entire implementation process. Uh, I think it is very important that uh, those who are implementing the project know that you are concerned about these projects and that they are important to you and that uh, you take time to uh, inspect and to monitor uh, uh, their execution. Leadership experts believe that the most important attributes of an effective leader are honesty, consistency, passion, and empathy. These Secretary de Jesus has in abundance. The best way I believe I can describe my capture of being are by two words, uh, constancy and equanimity. No wild swings, steady as she goes, what you see is what you get. You know the three iconic figures among the Jesuit founders, you know? Ignatius, the visionary, Francis Xavier, you know, the passionate person, and Peter Faber. Ping Jesus is Peter Faber. You know, when you, you, need some, you need to talk to somebody, you need a listening ear, the guy you go to is Ping De Jesus. Secretary De Jesus was educated at the Ateneo de Manila, where he obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree in economics and a master's degree in psychology. Years later, he took graduate studies in human development at the University of Chicago under a Fulbright grant. It was at the Development Academy of the Philippines that he started his long career in public service. Even then, Secretary de Jesus believed in the supreme importance of a highly efficient and effective bureaucracy. He became the director of the Career Executive Service Development Program, which sought to professionalize the Philippine bureaucracy. An early advocate of good governance, he was clear about how it could be achieved. One uh, must uh, be clear on one's objectives and uh, what he wishes to accomplish. He has to establish his priorities and then uh, marshal the resources, including human resources, uh, in order to execute uh, those uh, priorities. And then uh, making sure that uh, there are uh, measures to determine how one uh, progresses toward uh, the desired uh, objectives, uh, it is very important for a leader to, uh, because he cannot do things alone, that he has a good team and a team that is uh, not only uh, competent but inspired 
uh, because without inspiration, work can be can become a uh, a drudgery. No. When he was appointed by President Corazon Aquino to serve in her cabinet, he brought into the office of the president his characteristic reliability, constancy, and stability. In, in the cabinet, there were crises all over the place. Uh, you know, we lived through the coup years, and he was in a very central position in Malacanang. Uh, and there were crises both outside and inside Malacanang. And uh, Ping was always, Ping always provided the steady hand. Okay. Clear thinking, solid character, what you saw is what you got. I think we now have a lot of uh, department heads who are good managers. In the past, I suppose you had mostly political, you know, politicians rather than managers. Uh, now you have uh, managers uh, who also have a political sense and uh, they are able to establish priorities. Uh, goals, targets, and be able to execute uh, what they have, to, uh, they have to do. So I, I feel that while there is still a lot to be improved, that our bureaucracy is performing a lot better than it was ever before. I, I can speak from experience that properly motivated uh, bureaucrats, people in government, can perform miracles. They can be very effective, they can be very efficient, they can be very hardworking. After his stint in government, Secretary de Jesus joined the private sector and worked in public utility companies in telecommunication, transportation, and power distribution. Thus, in a sense, he was still in public service work. He is not in government now, but from a distance, he is quite satisfied with how the bureaucracy is running.